What's up guys, Shane here with 3D Printing and today we're going to check out the June MakerBox. Welcome back guys. So I know this video is a little bit late, but if you are just watching this randomly, it won't matter then. But again, today we're looking at the June Maker Box. And before we get started, we're going to take a look here at the spool that I decided to print the try out. So here's the spool I tried to print out, and uh, this was a very quick and easy print. It took uh, roughly three hours to print both parts, which is pretty easy. And then the inserts were another hour for those, but those really aren't necessary. They just kind of look cool. But it is super shallow, as you can see, there's only two complete threads to this, and it was made specifically by the maker for the maker box. So I'm hoping that the spools will fit on here nice and easy, as they say it does and we'll be able to have a nice little spool. It's really thin, it doesn't use much filament. So if the spools fit, then I'm very impressed, but we'll see. Onto the box. All right, so as soon as we come in here, we have the little piece there. We've got the MakerBox sticker, which I now am getting like an army of these since I've been doing this for now over a year. So there's that. We have some Jelly Belly Jelly beans, which I'm sure my kids will steal. And that looks to be all the swag that's in there. All right, so here's the card. It just says, join the community. You can get a free MakerBox. Yes, I have an affiliate program with MakerBox. Down in the video description, there's a link. If you guys use that and you wanna try out the MakerBox, if I get three people to sign up with that link, I get a free maker box. I have gotten in the past few months. It's been fantastic. It's one less thing that I have to buy when I produce content because I'll tell you, I do not make $19 for doing this video, which is what a box costs. So, and you also get a discount when you use that link. So go ahead and check it out. And here we have, it says all the discounts are on here. They no longer put them here on the bags. They put it right here on the card, which gives you the different ones. So Amazon, Protopasta, Filamentum, uh, filaments.ca and printed solid all the websites and all the discount codes that you can get all right up first we have alja from algex 3d and it looks to be like a very deep gray and let's see what it says so the hot end temperature is 175 to 190 bed temperature 40 to 50 c speed 50 to 100 so nice and high speed it is not abrasive even though it feels abrasive i mean just i just from hearing it here so the info made from combination of pla and Nuisance algae, nuisance algae, lower print temps to reduce stringing. I don't know really what day that means, but it, uh, it feels a little bit rougher. It almost feels like the matte uh, filament from Protopasta. Very similar to that. And it's not very brittle. So that should be interesting. Ooh, okay, here's a good one. So we have iron PLA from Protopasta. I love protopasta filaments. So this is 190 to 230C, bed 0 to 40, speed 30 to 60C, it is abrasive. And the info, an iron-filled PLA that attracts magnets. Check out protopasta's website for tips on, on post-processing and rusting your printed parts. So post-processing, that's a really good thing there. Since this has iron in it, I actually have a paint that has iron in it, and then I have a solution that goes on it which rusts it. That might be a pretty cool thing to do with this. If I, if I can and if I have time, I will definitely do that. Maybe I won't do it for this MakerBox video, maybe I'll do a quick little video on rusting iron PLA, but this is gonna come out awesome. And this is also a very dark, like charcoal gray. Okay, up next we have carbon fiber ABS from Push Plastic. The hot end temperature, 230 to 40. Bed temperature, 90 to 110 C. Speed, 30 to 60. It is abrasive, because it's carbon fiber, so it has carbon fiber materials in it. It is a, info is a high fill, carbon fiber reinforced ABS, superior strength prints. I've yet to print regular PLA carbon fiber, and ABS I am really not that good with. So I'm really gonna see how this ends up turning out. I will throw on the enclosure on the FT5 and get this printed up nice and hot. And we'll see how it turns out. I mean, I can't, I'm gonna hope it turns out well. We'll see what happens. All right, here we have Mold Lay from Lay Filaments, but the discount code is for filaments.ca. Let's we'll see what's about this one. Hot end temperatures, 170 to 210. Bed temperature, is no heated bed. Speed is 20 to 50, it is not abrasive. It is great for making metal castings heat up to 270C to melt out the wax and start your investment casting. Prints best under cold conditions with cooling. 
All right, so if you guys watch any metal workers, you'll know that they take a wax mold or they will mold something out of wax or soap and then they'll melt that out, put wax in it, and then they put the wax in a sand mold and then they will pour whatever it is that they are casting with, you know, iron, aluminum, whatever it is, and they will pour that into the sand. It melts this away as it burns it away, I should say. And then what you have left over is your metal. So my maker coin would be cool to print in this. If I ever wanted to cast it, this was something I would use to do so, but I have no really way to get metal to melt or anything like that. But at least we'll see its printability. That's kind of the whole thing is here is how well do these filaments actually print for me? Uh, if I can do any of the extra things that they say they can do, great. Otherwise, we will see. All right, so we have the filament, we have the spool. Let's roll some time lapse and see how things turn out. And we're back. So first off, let's take a look at how the spool actually worked out. And it was pretty good, but it definitely could use some improvements, at least for the spool sizes, or should say for the bundle sizes that I received from MakerBox this month. I do like how it is a quick twist and is only about two threads deep and it threads on very nicely, very easily, and it secures in. It uses a very minimal amount of filament. I wish I would have looked it up, but I forgot. It has two separate inserts that can go in here. Uh, this one is the 40 millimeter. The one down from this, I believe, is 25 millimeters. My issues with this spool is that the sides of it are not quite high enough for the spools. And also, the base diameter of this is also too small because the spools are larger than this is. And by giving a quick example, I should be able to show you here at how much larger it is. It actually doesn't look that large in here, but whenever it's sitting on there, it is almost half an inch. And this filament would actually come off of the spool a few times. It didn't happen terribly often, but if it was either a larger diameter, or at least if these side fenders were taller, that wouldn't happen at all. So it works out pretty well. It's probably one of the better ones that I've used. Probably, I would say probably my top three right now um, for as, you know, as critical as I am about it, it worked out well. So if you guys want to check this out, I'll put a link down below to the Thingiverse file and to the guy that made this. Not bad, a little bit of tweaking, but pretty good. Now let's look at the prints. All right, so up first we have Alja from Agilix 3D. And this is kind of like a standard PLA, kind of a lower temp PLA actually, because they recommend 175 to 190. Uh, you can print this really fast, which is great. Uh, top layers came out really nice, a little bit of stringing, so I could have brought down my temp a little bit more. Underneath, it actually turned out really well over the support, and the first layers were great. Uh, right here, there's a little dimp, and that's simply because I have a hole in my build tack, the Forgetech build tack that I have on there, so I need to replace that, so I'm getting those little you know, marks on my first layers. Other than that, it actually turned out really, really good. I'm very impressed with how this printed. I really like it. Up next, we have Mold Lay by Lay Filaments. This stuff is pretty cool because this is for creating metal castings. So instead of like carving something out of soap or wax and then melting it or, you know, making it out of foam, you can just 3D print it like this and design, because people out there can make great designs, but they're not very good at carving. Well, you can 3D print your object, put this in like a sand or something, cover it over, leaving just a spot to pour the metal, pour your metal in, it will melt this out and then you will have a metal casting. But I can't do that, so simply at the printability of this filament, it turned out great. You're not gonna see, like my first layers on top of the support were okay, not the best, but you're not gonna see that kind of detail in a metal print, or in a metal casting, I should say. So you'll be able to clean that up at a later time. First layer went out great, sidewalls all nice and smooth, all the details were captured and it printed extremely easily. I was very impressed with this. So if you are looking for something for like that metal casting, this might be it. But again, the printability of it is excellent and very easy. Up next, we have something that I've wanted to try forever is Iron PLA by Protopasta. Protopasta makes some great filaments. I've never had a bum one yet. 
This one also did not disappoint. I did have to print this twice though, because I had a jam, oh, I'd say about a quarter of the way into the print. So I think it was actually because of the nozzle I was using. Switched out my nozzle, went to a different one, and this printed out no problem whatsoever. There was a little bit of stringing here, so I probably should lower my temperature a little bit. I printed it at 220 and then 230 because I was afraid it was gonna jam again, but it would have been just fine at 220. Going underneath, a little bit of under extrusions. Uh, my first layer here was a little bit far away, uh, but otherwise over the supports turned out okay. And like I said, the top, a little bit of under extrusion on here, but that's okay. But the coolest thing about this, this uh, filament is it is magnetic because it has, I mean, iron in it. it's iron PLA. I mean, I don't know exactly how they make this stuff, but the fact that you can use a magnet to hold it is pretty boss. What I am going to do in a separate video is just how to weather this and make it look rusty because I have some cool things that I've done in the past with some steampunk projects. I think weathering this to make it look rusty will be amazing, but it came out really nice. I like it. All right. And finally, we have carbon fiber ABS by Push Plastic. This is probably one of Actually, this is probably like my first actual successful ABS print using the enclosure on the FT5. This turned out great. It is super light, but let's look at the quality. I believe I over extruded just a little bit on this. Could have downed it a bit. Over the supports came out great. Uh, the sidewalls were great. I didn't have any real under extrusion issues on this one like I had on the iron PLA but this came out great and it is super duper strong. You can't bend this, break it. I mean, this is not that thick in there and I can't, I can't break that at all. It just turned out absolutely great. I love it. And for ABS and like, again, I'm not an ABS person. It just turned out absolutely fantastic. So good job on push plastics for this filament. So there you have it guys. That is the June maker box and all the filament turned out great. I'm very happy with the selection that came in this, this month. I'm also very happy with the spool that came out. Like I said, top three definitely that I've used so far. Now the task is to find yet another one for the July box that will be coming out very soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions on how to print with any of these filaments, whether you're using MakerBox or you've just bought the roll, let me know. I would gladly share my settings with you on how I got these prints. Again, little changes I would have made here and there, but otherwise it turned out great. Thanks for watching guys. If you found this video useful, hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't dislike, let me know down below what I can do to do differently. If you want to support me, best way to do that, subscribe down below. All descriptions really help. I'm hitting another mile marker very soon, so I'm super psyched about that. Thank you everyone that watches. If you want to support me financially, there's a Patreon link down below. My patrons, thank you for your support. You guys really do help out. There's affiliate links down there. Go ahead and use those. You can get a percentage off and you can help me get a free maker box by using the link down below in order to subscribe to the maker box if you feel that you want to do so. And right over here, there'll be some other videos for you guys to check out. And with that, I thank you for watching. And as always, happy printing.